In this video, I use another sample to do the rotary relief to pass in ArtCam. Someone may have ArtCam without the Jewelry Smith version, so it won't work on the 3D model rotary. So you'd better find a version with the Jewelry Smith functions. Here are two versions of ArtCam. The front one is ArtCam 8, and the one on the back is ArtCam 2008. So um, I still use the 2008 version to do this video. First, we create a new project. Right click Assembly and Import. Find the 3D model. Here is the STL format and uh, open. First, we check the size. This is just OK for what we need. The diameter. The diameter of the column is about 45 millimeter. The diameter. And then the length is about 365 millimeter. I think it is OK. So I do no change here. And in this, first, I do center object. In this view, I move along the green axis. This is Y, I think. OK. I make it a bigger step. I make it smaller. Make it even smaller. I zoom in here. I think this is OK. And then I press the ISO view. You can see here the red axis is the X axis. It shows the width of your machine. And the green axis is Y axis, the length of your machine. But in that cam, we need to rotate it. So here I choose Z and clockwise. OK, this is OK for us to create the rotary relief. Right click and uh, create rotary relief. in the 3D view. Uh, we can see here the rotary. And then we can do some smooth on it. Maybe two passes is OK. Apply. OK, and then we Uh, in the model set position, I'll set the bottom left pixel. To zero. I create Z-level roughing. Choose a two roughing tool of 6 mm end mill, make it 4 to make it more faster, and this makes the same as my 
machining tool will be 4.99 and then I set the material as the radius of my rotary relief make it to top okay and then I generate the two pass now close okay and then we do the machine relief to pass and choose a tool from here 3.175 diameter and the flat radius is 0 0.25 so the flat top here it is 0 0.5 millimeter width and the whole angle is 30 degree I select this and keep this all by default be sure that I step over here this value this value it should be not bigger than 40 percent of your whole flat diameter okay and the step down you can see it's the same as I made with the roughing tool okay and uh, generate it now And first, we can simulate the roughing. You can see here. And then the machining tool. The resolution seems a little um, lower. I make it a bit larger. Okay, and then. I regenerate all the two paths. Okay, then close. Simulate it again. Okay, here is what we got if we put it on the flat bed.
and here is the final effect and way to two pass save to pass as or just uh, here and uh, save to pass if you don't have a four axis save the router for example your rotary takes place of your x axis you can just save it as normal flat to pass as this format if you have a four axis since the router because you have X, Y, Z, and A axis. So you can choose the next one. Rotary X to A. To use this. One thing we should know that is Outcam can only generate three axes to pass. It cannot do four axes to pass. Okay. So here we just save it as this, and then okay, this is the machining relief. Machining and uh, save, and then I move it back and choose the roughing. Move it here, and then save the rough. Save yes, okay. And uh, then we can start to do the work on our sense router. But one thing you should know that when you set your work origin, you should set it here. not in the center of the rotary but on the top of it in the middle on the top of the column here okay thank you for watching